Over here. Go around the back. Okay, that's good. You can follow basic directions. That's a start. Look, it's getting late. I'd like to be in my bunk before midnight. I'm not gonna ride you. Let's keep it short. Let's cover everything. Head on inside. Time to gear up. Grab the sidearm on the table. This is your personal weapon. You can modify it as you see fit. You will be issued a primary weapon on deployment based on your role, and you will always have the option to carry a secondary. Move into the next room. Alright, I know you've already had combat training. This is an assessment. Let's start with a warm-up. I want you to hit this target ten times as close to the center as you can. Try it without using your iron sights. Good. Now I'm going to lower a moving target. I want you to hit it at least ten times as it's moving. You can try using your sights now. You can't hit it. Good. You can operate a firearm. Congratulations. Let's move up to the next area. See those crates? Those are weapon caches. They're a very important strategic asset. The enemy will attempt to find and destroy these to cripple our supplies and gain the advantage. And we'll try to do the same to theirs. You can resupply your team's weapon caches in the field if you have enough supplies. Go over to the firing booth. Take down those targets as quickly as you can. It's two hits per target. Ready? Set? Go! Bad. Didn't break any records, but still a solid timer. For this next exercise, I want you to sprint to the next location and jump over any obstacles on your way there. Move as fast as you can. I'll open a path for you on your right. Ready? Go! Too slow! Go back to the booth! Same thing, but faster. You ready? Go! Feel tired? Try aiming down your sights now. If you exhaust yourself like that, you'll need a couple seconds to slow down your breathing and be accurate again. Keep that in mind. See the pit with the van and the building across? We placed some targets there. They'll pop up in a second. I want you to hit them as you see them. Get ready. Good, so you can shoot accurately over 20 feet with your sidearm. Remember that you have your sidearm to fall back on if you run dry on your primary. Let's head back inside for the next exercise. Follow me. Here's another weapon cache. I want you to get familiar with resupplying. It's very important. You won't be any use to your team if you run out of ammunition. So watch your ammo. Keep an eye out for your team's weapon caches. You can also change your gear at a weapon cache. You have the choice between light and heavy armor for protection, and a chest rig or a chest carrier for ammunition. Now, a chest rig will allow you to carry the standard amount of ammunition and two grenades, whereas the chest carrier will allow you to carry more ammunition and three grenades. The chest carrier is going to be a bit heavier for you, though. If you're naked and you're not wearing a rig, then you can only carry one grenade. You want to always keep an eye on how much gear you're carrying. 
It will affect your weight, how fast you can move, and how quickly you get fatigued. Go ahead and equip the light armor. We have a contract with the supplier, so you get that one for free. Gear up and move up. Okay, let's get serious. This is your standard CQC exercise. You're gonna move from room to room, eliminating all the targets as fast as you can. Get ready! Go! Just secure, move up! Done? That was awful. Are you taking this seriously? Stop screwing around. Alright, we're done for the sidearm training. Move up to the next building for primary weapon training. I'll meet you there. Welcome to primary weapon training. You've just received supplies. You and your team will be awarded these supplies for completing objectives or defending our weapon caches. Make sure to always know what your team's current goal is. If you fulfill this goal, you will get more supplies to continue fighting. And we get paid to do a job. We have contracts, specific tasks, and expectations that we need to meet. Always pay attention to the briefing, and you'll be rewarded properly. Now, grab a primary weapon from the weapon cache with the supplies you just received. This is a standard issue primary weapon. Depending on your role in the field, you'll have different primary weapons available to you. For example, if you're a marksman, you'll have access to different high caliber battle rifles. If you're a support, you'll probably be carrying an LMG. You get the idea. Eliminate all those targets through the plywood. Get acquainted with your primary. Keep in mind, different weapon calibers will penetrate different materials. Being in concealment is not the same as being in cover, and that goes for the enemy as well. Be mindful of how thick your cover is and what weapons are being fired at you. Now, follow me. Let's talk about your gear, weapon modifications and attachments. You've just been given additional supplies. You can now purchase some attachments for your primary weapon or your sidearm. Regular weapon attachments include aim assists, like scopes for long-range engagements and non-magnifying sights for close to medium-range engagements. Other attachments will affect your recoil and handling, like the foregrip, which will decrease your recoil. You also have a laser sight to help you aim. It can be difficult to land your shots if you're not aiming down your sights. Having a pointer that tells you where your round will hit helps with that. It has Car? That's a control point. You and your team will be required to capture CPs in the enemy's operation. You need to make sure the control point is there before you capture it. It's important to secure the perimeter around the CP. 
Go capture the car. Good. Now make your way to the next waypoint, clearing the warehouse as you go. Eliminate all the targets. I'll see you outside. Outside, come see me. All right, we're going to talk about long range engagements. But before we do that, let's make use of that flashlight attachment of yours. If you don't have one, go ahead and resupply from the weapon cache over there. If you don't have enough supplies for it, you could trade some of your current equipment to get supplies. You're going to be juggling supplies a lot. Don't be afraid to sell something important to get something more important. Now, we've placed five portraits of a dear old friend of ours out there in the dark. You might be able to see him without it, but I recommend you use your flashlight. Take him out. Nice job. You just made the world a better place. Oh, and you know what? We actually just got some cool new toys in. We now have access to an NVG accessory. They work real well. Should be useful after nightfall. Go ahead and try them on. Be careful when you use them. If you look at any sources of light, when you have them on, it's gonna blind you pretty bad. And especially if a bad guy puts a flashlight at you, it's really gonna fuck with your eyes, so just be careful when you wear them. Let's talk about grenades and explosives. If you take a look at your gear, you can see that you have space for extra equipment. Depending on how many supplies you have, you'll be able to afford multiple types of grenades or explosives. I want to see how you can throw. Do you see the dumpster behind the windows on your left? Yeah, throw a frag in there. You can resupply your grenades at the weapon cache if you run out.
Alright, nice throw. Now, you can also roll grenades on the floor if you want to, say, clear out a stairwell underneath you or something. Roll a grenade under that wooden fence. Try to get it down that hole and don't blow us up. Nice. The grenade hole just got deeper. As for other explosives, we've got your standard C4 charges and RPGs. Although we don't have one of those available at the moment, so let's just roll with the C4 for now. C4 charges are mostly used to destroy enemy objectives, such as weapon caches. Any type of explosive will do the job, but the C4 will do it better, and it'll do it in one charge. It takes two fragmentation grenades to destroy a weapon cache. Now, you can throw C4 charges, but they're heavy, so you can't throw them far. But still, knowing your C4 reach may give you some tactical advantages in some environments. You see that dumpster behind the chain link fence to your left? Let's say there's a weapon cache in there. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! The warning would have been nice! God damn it, my ear is ringing! Alright, that, that, that's enough explosives for now. I, I'd like to keep my hearing. Shit. Uh, let's move on to long range engagements and scopes. Go ahead and attach a, an LCAN scope on your primary weapon and get all the targets in the field. Hey boss, uh, we got a situation development over here. Come down and check it out. Oh, Stir me during training. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go handle this. Just go ahead and check out those targets. I'll, I'll be back in just a minute. Shit, you're alive! Oh, that's great news, man! Oh, all well, the fucking days, God damn it! I wanted to go to bed early. Well, reload and get ready. I don't know how many are out there. Oh shit, here they come!
HQ has intel about who organized this raid. We're gonna head back out, finish this. Care to join us? Recall recruit. If you're ready, you can go out with them. Go to these practice assignments, head back out to the firing range. Oh, and by the way, welcome to the company. Are you up for it? <laughs>